So hi, I'm Steve Shell. I'm the CEO and co-founder of New Matter. Uh, at New Matter, our goal is to make 3D printing accessible and affordable to a very wide variety of people. Um, we've launched the Mod-T, our, our consumer 3D printer. It's designed for use in the household and in the classroom. It's affordable at only $399, and it's designed to be friendly in those environments and that it's a very attractive product that you want to showcase in your living room. It's very quiet, so it's not disruptive to a classroom or to a family, uh, and it's extremely easy to use. It's Wi-Fi connected to the New Matter Store, which is our online marketplace of 3D printable designs, and this allows beginners to get up and running very, very quickly. Uh, you don't have to learn 3D design to get going with the, with the Mod-T. You can start with what's in the design store, find a print that you like, with one click, you can send that print over the Wi-Fi connection and get going. So some really exciting things have been happening at New Matter. So first, we launched the Monty on a crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo about a year and a half ago in 2014. And I'm really excited to announce that over the last three months, we've fulfilled all 2,500 of those pre-orders, and we are now transitioning from pre-order fulfillment into direct sales. So we now have inventory available, it's in stock. You can place an order today at newmatter.com, and we're shipping throughout the United States and Canada. In addition to that, uh, earlier this week, we announced what we call the Educate and Inspire Grant Program. Uh, we're preparing to donate $200,000 worth of 3D printers and 3D printing supplies to schools across the United States. We're accepting applications for this program from now until February 5th, uh, and at that time we'll select 100 schools, each of which will re receive three Mod-T 3D printers, uh, 15 schools of filament, and some other 3D printing supplies as well. I was a 3D printing user before beginning New Matter. And one of the things I saw when looking around the 3D printing market is that so many of the products appealed to me as an engineer, but they didn't appeal to me as a husband or as a father or as a consumer, frankly. So I went about designing the Mod-T with my team to be a, a really approachable and attractive to a wider audience. So that means it has to look good. We've designed a very minimalist product that really showcases the part being printed. It's mostly transparent. There's not a lot of mechanism there, so we wanted to see the part that's being created. We also designed it to be very quiet. We don't want it to be disruptive to the family or to the classroom, so we've designed a different motor technology than what most 3D printers use, brings the noise level way down. And in addition, we've created a lot of, uh, or we've spent a lot of effort making things automatic. There's no bed leveling with the Mod-T, there's no manual calibration at all. Uh, you start a print job, it calibrates itself, and it just goes. At a $1,000 price point or a $1,500 price point, it's a very difficult uh, purchase for a family to justify. At prices like that, uh, you need to see a real like financial return or how is this going to save our family money. Uh, but at a $400 price point, a $399 where the Mati is, it's a much easier purchase for families to make. Uh, we see a lot of parents purchasing these as activity for their kids. It's a way to get um, you know, teenagers or, or preteens involved with technology, but in a way that's more tangible, it's more educational. They're building skills that are going to be useful later in life, uh, rather than spending more time on, on screens, on iPad apps, or on Xbox games.